Hello there. Today I've decided to do another classic pour which I love, the open cup pour. I've already put my cup into place. This is what it looked like before I cut half of it off and turned it upside down. It's a plastic shot cup. And the colours that I'm putting into it today are crimson red, metallic gold, white, metallic lime green, metallic purple, and my black, which I have already put down as a base on the canvas. And the red, white, and black are regular colours. As I said, the purple, lime green, and gold are metallic, and all the colours except the black have got a drop of silicone added to them. So I'll get started now. I'm going to make it a travelling open cut pour. I like to pull the cup around the canvas to see what sort of result I can get. Okay, so I have finished the first picture, which I'll show you at the end. Um, I walked away and left it for a little while. It's, it's nice, but it wasn't, it didn't jump out and grab me. So I've decided to try another one. This time using just the gold and the red with a drop of silicone in each, along with my black, which I have also got on the base of the picture. And my little, um, phew, shot cup, plastic cup that I've cut the bottom off and I will put it onto the picture. This time I think I might start in the middle and I might actually work my way 
around. I'll see how I go anyway. I'm using a little bit more paint because it's just the two colours, but I'm hoping I don't have as much on the canvas when I've finished as I did with the last one. So I'll get started now. have to tell you right now that I am just loving this. Oop, I was going to put on my um, torch but I've decided now not to torch it until the end because I just don't want the huge cells I got from the last one. Well they're, they're not big, there's just a lot of them. So I'm going to tilt this now to see what sort of a pattern I can make from those colours. I went away for 10 minutes just to allow the paint to settle and see what happened with the cells and of course the what were little gold cells there have got a lot bigger. I am going to use the torch on it now to get rid of some bubbles but I really don't want too many cells so I'm just going to do it in bits to see how I get on. that is quite enough of the cells. Part of me is thinking I sh wish I hadn't torched it now but I'm also pleased I did because I put the silicone into the paint for a reason and that was to bring up the cells. So now I'm going to bring this up close to the light to show you. It's actually getting quite dark outside my window now. The heavy grey clouds are coming over again. We've had very unsettled weather the last 
a couple of weeks being springtime and so I don't know when I leave the house whether I should take a, an umbrella or just wear a t-shirt and sunscreen. <laughs> so there we are, there is my second picture and I'm so happy with that, just those two colours. And when I put the picture back down again, I am going to show you the colours that I used because I will be using them a lot more, of course. I've already used them quite a bit already and I'm very happy with these colours. So my crimson is Montmartre acrylic colour, the signature range, and my gold is the Art Ranger acrylic colour in the gold and the black is also the Montmartre acrylic colour in Mars black. So I will move this picture now and bring back the first one to show you how it came out. Right, so I'll give it another torch since I've already got a lot of cells on there. I'll just make sure that all bubbles in our pot and everything is coming through. That is looking good. I'm actually quite impressed with the way the scarlet has broken up into pieces because it's almost almost like the bloom technique with the black in between it and I'm going to actually practice with that to see what I can make. Um, I haven't done bloom technique because I haven't got uh, the ingredients I need to make the proper paint up and it's very very expensive here so it's not anything I'll be doing anytime soon but that's how the red has come out and it is very very pretty I took off a lot of the color as you saw when I was tilting but there are still hints there and there's the black um, cells as well with the green in between them the purple and the green over on there have kind of come out a bit weird. Um, I did think about taking that off completely, but I thought, no, I'll just leave it. For those people who absolutely love cells in their painting, I know there are uh, YouTube viewers out there who just love lots of cells on their paintings. Uh, I'm not one of them. I do like cells and sometimes they are absolutely amazing, particularly if you're doing a swipe or something similar. But under normal circumstances, I just like my paint as it is. So that is my two paintings for today. And I've had so much fun doing these. I'm going to do more open cut pours. I want to do one on a large canvas, possibly again just using the crimson and the gold to see what I get. I think it will be a lovely bright Christmassy splash of colour. So that's it for me. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.